Ladies and gentlemen, one of the finest voices in British blues. Will you welcome, please, Mr. Paul Cox and the proof? Thank you.
I'll show you that before I introduce Well, I didn't introduce it. It's called Dangerous Moon, by the way. <laughs> Did I record it that 17 years ago? I was six when I did it, so it's cool. Started off the album, didn't it? Okay, this next song's also off the album. When, when we first put this album and this band together, we had a keyboard player called Roger Cotton, as his name, who was a bit of a blues legend, you know. He, he was for years with uh, Johnny Johnson, the bandwagon, and various other bands. Then he joined Peter Green's Splinter Group and wrote a lot of their songs, including this one. And he produced the album we did, he played on it, he did gigs with us, and then we sadly lost him in 2016. Uh, which is very heartbreaking for a lot of people, you know. But it, the great thing about wonderful talent is that they leave behind wonderful legacies of music, and uh, he's left behind us some great songs. We'll do a few of them tonight. I'm doing this one, this is called Until the World Runs Dry. Thank you.
Thank you so much. That's the one problem when you don't do as many gigs as you used to do. You really enjoy the moments you play, man. And why shouldn't we, you know? We're going to rechristen the band actually, Old Men Having Fun, which is what this is all about, really. For two hours, you're like the youngest person you've ever been, you know. And so are the audience, I might add, too, you know. We're all going back there, you know. And then we all cobble off in a golden plated ambulance to wherever we live. You know. This next song was actually originally done by um, Freddie King, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, we recorded it on the album. And uh, it's just, it's, it's a great blues song as opposed to just a sort of basic structure of a 12 bar. It's got more than three chords in it. It's got the same old blues, thank you.
very sweet. That's lovely, thank you. I did my first solo album, and this is quite pretentious, but it's true, because it was my name on the album. Way back in 1998, I put out an album called Ain't Nothing Doing. This is a title song. And uh, we'd like to play for you right now, people. Thank you so much.
song off the album, uh, when we, uh, well actually not me to be fair, there was a, a, some person running a, a YouTube channel, put this up and uh, it got like 25, 30,000 hits, you know, without, that's a lot for people of our generation, who don't understand computers, you know, but the thing that the people all over the world like this song is actually very flattering and lovely, so uh, we'll play it for you tonight, it's off the album. This is a, a combination of two tunes which we've put together. It's called Coco for you. Thank you.
Okay, we're going to finish this first set with a bit of a classic for you, just to get you in that sort of uplifting mood. This is uh, another song made famous by Freddie King, also done by God, Mr. Eric Clapton. And uh, who remembers that bit of uh, graffiti? Who was, who was young enough to remember that? <laughs> so, that's, yeah, because everybody's seen it on, you know, photographs in the last 50 odd years. There was a dyslexic version, it said, um, you know, clapped on his dog. <laughs> we won't go there. Right. So we'll leave you with this. This is uh, another song written by the guy who writes all the songs for Freddie King, whose name had completely gone out of my head. Don somebody. It's called Tall Down. <laughs> Oh, you know. 